Hey guys, Mr. BXRT here and welcome back. Today is February 5th of 2020 and let's jump right into it. I'm going to be fast and furious today. i am uh, got a crazy busy day. So let's look at the market. Um, over the uh, over the last 24 hours, Bitcoin is up 3.48 percent, Ethereum is up 5.88 percent, and XRP is up 9.28 percent. But over the seven day, XRP is up nearly 16 percent compared to Ethereum at 11.73 and Bitcoin at 1.33. So XRP over the last seven days is moving way harder than Bitcoin, which uh, we've been waiting for and is a good sign. So we're going to keep our eyes on that as uh, as we like to do. A lot of people are calling for us to break 30 cents today. Let's see where we're at right now. Let's go to Fiat Leaks. Uh, Fiat Leak, actually. Yeah, I love this site. I just love looking at it. It's, uh, it's fun to look at. And... Uh, and I think everybody else enjoys it as well. So let's keep moving. All right. So Crypto Wolf um, at Crypto Wolf posted this on Twitter yesterday. Ripple's partnership with Intermex Wire will enable them to use on-demand liquidity throughout RippleNet and use XRP. Uh, Intermex Wire is a leading money remittance U.S. company to 17 countries in Latin America and the Caribbean, along with Mexico, Guatemala, and four countries in Africa. Okay. So good. Another partnership of a money remittance company. Fantastic. Love it. Keep bringing them on. Uh, the more the better, um, but at the end of the day, these 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 money remittance companies don't move nearly as much money as banks do. So we want as many of these guys as we can get. But at the end of the day, we need the banks moving their money because um, Willie Sutton is a famous bank robber. I think from the 20s, 30s, or 40s. I don't remember when. Um, but when they asked Willie Sutton when he finally got arrested, why did he rob banks? And he said because that's where the money is and uh, and we need banks to be using ODL so love this let's let's build up the liquidity let's get these banks started and let's get them open um, I wanted to bring this to everyone's attention a friend of mine named Michael um, tried to withdraw some XRP um, on February 4th so here's what happened unfortunately your withdrawal of the XRP on February 4th 2020 at 10 29 PST has been delayed. Your funds are secure and the delay will not affect the sales price of your digital currency. We have delayed this withdrawal for 72 hours to ensure it is authorized activity. You can view the affected withdrawal here. Um, let's see, if you initiated this withdrawal, no action is required um, and your withdrawal will be automatically computed in 72 hours. If you did not initiate this withdrawal, I believe it's an unauthorized activity, you can cancel at any time using the delay period. You should also disable sign in for your account. Okay, so here's the good news, here's the bad news, right? So, so the good news is, you know, they're seemingly wanting to protect people, but the bad news is he couldn't move his assets for 72 hours. Now, I spoke with Michael, and Michael is a good friend of mine, and he told me this was not in the Coinbase Vault. The Coinbase Vault is a 48-hour withdrawal process. So this 72 hours was just to come out of his basic um, Coinbase account. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it because uh, you know I, I like protection. I like I like that you know they're they're trying to make it sound like they're protecting him, but at the end of the day, if you can't move your assets for 72 hours. That's a problem. Okay, so um, I have heard, and I can't confirm this. So, so please just take this with a grain of salt. I have heard that if you have um, XRP in Coinbase Pro, you can instantly move it out. Um, but for whatever reason, in Coinbase, they're flagging people and holding for 72 hours. Now, I don't think they're doing it to everyone. But I've had multiple people DM me in the last couple of days about this problem. So bringing it to everyone's attention, just want to make you aware of it. I don't know what to tell you to do about it other than just be aware of it. Um, and uh, and it would be nice, you know, we don't get any communication from Coinbase. It would sure be nice to get some communication from them. Um, but we get nothing from them. So moving on. Uh, Digital Asset Investor posted this on Twitter. Um, hey, CoinDesk, where's your article titled XRP outperforms both Bitcoin and Ethereum in the last seven days? One is Novogratz, Mike Novogratz, going to explain his Bitcoin valuation as if it were a stock the way he does with XRP, pure agenda. And Digital Asset Investor is right on the money. So Mike Novogratz said, XRP will underperform immensely again this year. You know, it's shocking that Mike Novogratz 
um, and Galaxy Digital is an early investor in Ripple. Um, he he may be an early investor in Ripple, but he doesn't he doesn't see the XRP um, token as as something that he should be defending or talking about in a positive way. I went to his site this morning, Galaxy Digital, and 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 I was looking for Ripple and looking for XRP, and and I will tell you this: I didn't spend a lot of time on it because I had kind of a busy morning. But all I could find is information about Bitcoin. He is obviously a Bitcoin maximalist and has a ton of money invested in Bitcoin. So um, I just can't believe it. I just I just can't believe what this guy does and doesn't do. But uh, his money, his business, I'm sure Ripple wishes they never took his money. Um, moving on, Rob Licker posted this. And this gentleman, and I don't know how to say his name, I'm going to do my best. <clears throat> He's at G-E-R-O-E-N underscore Lars. So Jurian... Uh, Jureen Lars is a good XRP community member and he's a mobile, a single dad of an autistic child. Um, check out his story and maybe consider sending him a few XRP if you're capable of doing so. So so this gentleman, he, he's he's in, in he's not well. Um, he is a member of our community. Um, he's, he's in our telegram group. I see him in there and, and, and he's in Brad Kimes telegram group as well. Um, so I'm just wanted to bring to everyone's attention. If anyone would like to send any XRP, you can you can go to his um, his Twitter account and he's got his address here. Um, and, and I want to share that with you. And I wish him well. I think he had had some sort of a surgery last night, and I, and I hope he pulls out and 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 is on the mend. I really really do. Okay, uh, moving on. Um, okay, so today is Ripple's ODL webinar. Okay, there's still time to sign up, guys. I'm going to put the link in the description of the video below. It's 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern right now. It's going to go off at, I think it goes off at 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern. So it's going to happen in about an hour. Yeah, so it's 11 a.m. Eastern. So you've got an hour. By the time I load this video, you'll probably have a half an hour um, uh, time frame to, uh, to get in there. You can you can still, from what I understand, you can still register to get in. I registered last night. I got right in. I actually put Mr. B X R P. They didn't care. You, you don't really have to, you know. You could just organization. You could just write Twitter or, or YouTube or whatever you want to write. They they don't care. Apparently, they want everybody in there. So I have. If you can't get in there, I have um, I have asked Ripple for um, permission to tape it and to share it. So I'm waiting for them to respond. I will be taping it today. If they give me permission to share it, I will share it in a separate video so that everybody can see it on their own timeline, okay? Just want to give you the heads up. Um, 12 bullets left. He uh, he posted this on Twitter yesterday. Heading heading to a careers event with a colleague. This is his Mercedes Air Vents. Love this. And obviously this inspired my, uh, my thumbnail today and um, uh, my YouTube thumbnail. Um, boy, is that that that's really spot on, isn't it? Okay, last thing is a tweet I made yesterday, and, and here's my tweet: You're either part of your own plan or part of someone else's plan, and I can tell you that their plan sucks for you. Make your own plan, guys. Life is about making your own plan. Nobody else is responsible for your happiness or your success other than you. Okay. Every day the sun rises. There's 365 days a year to get it right. Okay. You want to change your life? Take out a piece of paper, take out a pen, write down your goals, write dates, and get going, get moving in the right direction. Come on, guys. You could do it. Anything you want to do, you can do. We all we all start at the same place in life, and 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 we all have we all can make our own opportunities if we're willing to do it. Okay, that's it. Gotta run. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not an accountant, I'm not a venture capitalist who doesn't support his investments, and I'm not a crypto expert. These are my opinions only. Don't make any financial decisions based on anything I say. This video is intended for educational and uh, entertainment purposes only. Please like and subscribe and hit the notifications button and share with anybody who you think might do the same. Thank you all who have been subscribing. We are getting close to 10,000. And if you haven't subscribed, please, please give me a subscribe if you think I've earned it. And have a fantastic day.